Uh, Sir, uh, you are starting a GoFundMe page for a $1.8 million Tomahawk cruise missile. Under the Second Amendment, I'm allowed to organize myself in a, a well-regulated militia. You have an A-10 award <laughs> hug. <laughs> must protect against government tyranny. My medicinal M1A1 April. Medicinal? <laughs> medicinal, not yeah, even that's... recreational, just medicinal. My recreational ACR with a heartbeat sensor. <laughs> Just a fucking, it's like a DS with the screen broken off, taped to the side. You are surrounded! Give me that microphone! Eat less! Valkyries! The newest update to War Thunder that has everybody feeling like it's not. Before we get in too deep, thank you to Gaijin Entertainment for sponsoring this video. So if you'd like to try out War Thunder for free on PC, PS4, Xbox One, Mac, and Linux, wait. Wait, really? Linux? Are you- Wow. There's a link below me that will land you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium time as a bonus. And once again, I'm gonna need a mulligan on this video, just like the last video, because a bunch of you are die-hard War Thunder fans that are insanely skilled at the game, and I'm probably gonna say an aircraft or armament or acronym wrong, so I'd appreciate just a little bit of slack. High explosive fragmentation incendiary tracer shell, which is like, this is as much death as we could stick inside of a casing. <laughs> all right, so I got all this death, right? And I want to stick it inside of a shell casing. What do I call it? The name of the game with this new update, helicopters. We've got Cobras, we've got Hueys, we've got Hinds, we've even got a Russian magic school bus that may have actually been stolen from school children. Excuse me, sir, why are you taking our school bus? Yeah, foreign field trip. The door opens up immediately, just jumps on, <laughs> pulls out a Makarov and a badge, <laughs> and then forces the bus driver off. These helicopters are only playable in tank modes and currently in closed beta, but access is also possible to active players via in-game tasks or the purchase of a pack in the game store. And keep in mind, there's over a thousand playable vehicles in War Thunder, so if you're not into helos, it's no big deal. I know you may be asking yourself, helicopters? How can that possibly be balanced? Aren't they fucking designed to be tank killers? What do you mean, armor targets? I have 900 millimeters of penetration. Well, yes, but the way it works is, you can immediately spawn into a helicopter once the round starts, but you're limited to using machine guns and rockets. Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Listen to- How many hydras does it take to take down a tank? My okay, we got him. We <laughs> Which are obviously all unguided munitions, requiring you to have solid aim and get significantly closer to your target to engage. Which, in a nutshell, means you're gonna get lit up like a Christmas tree almost every time. Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus Everyone. Christ! They're yeah, awesome. you can rip the homie. Rip <laughs> the how, homie. How have you not died yet. Yo, you're gonna dead. crash. There's Russian no ingenuity. Oh, there we go. Donnie, get the fire extinguisher. Die. I'm dropping him. I got two times hit. No, I can't balance out. I stole. I stole. We're going down, Phil. <laughs> but alternatively, if you spawn in a tank first, do work, so to speak, by capping flags and killing tanks. I'm gonna fire again. I'm gonna fire I again. Do, I got him, target destroyed. Where is your Freebrum superiority now, boy? You then gain spawn points and can bring in a helicopter with guided munitions, like a tow missile, which compared to the Hydra rockets is like upgrading from a Glock to an A-10 Warthog. All right, here we go, boys, missile away. Let's see if it can actually just tear a tank in half. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy. Come on, don't move, don't move. Oh, I think move. I'm watching your rocket go in for that. Bullseye, that's a one shot, baby. Don't move, guy. Don't move. There's one. He doesn't even know. He. I don't even think he can tell. That's two. That's a second T64. I'm just watching you do this. You're just literally just hovering there, pressing like three buttons. That was almost three for three too, but I hit too high on his tank. This should probably get him. Come on, guy. That's a third T64. This is literally the vehicle equivalent of Kanye plays basketball against disabled children and wins 106 to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I might actually just change because Shaq West played Kanye in basketball though. Fourth guy, next! Even though I changed targets. <laughs> next. Line up, boys. 
Because you can actively change it while it's going to somebody that's an easier target that might be easier to hit in the right spot. That copper wire is so- Jesus That's five, Christ, my guy! Dude. That is five. Stop. This is the definition of there's no such thing as a friendly predator missile, even though it's not- That is six! That- I guess it was a T-54, so that's a little bit of a different. He's probably lighter in terms of armor, but my god. These guys are just getting clobbered. Okay, we did it. I got six All right. targets destroyed. Hell yes, brother. <laughs> I like your use of the term clobbered because that wasn't graceful. It wasn't like Elliot. It was literally just smashing the shit out of somebody. <laughs> so now that you have a preview of what's possible, let's take it from the top. Two countries currently have access to helicopters, USA and USSR. Both have one attack and one heavily armed transport chopper, as in American Cobra, Russian Hind, and American Huey, Russian school bus. The helicopters from each country kind of mirror the other country, but there's all kinds of nuances. Like, American tow missiles have deeper penetration than Russian Atakas, but Atakas zip through the air nearly twice as fast. So both choppers are the same, yet both choppers are different. The Cobra, <laughs> it's slim, it's sleek, it, it's maneuverable, it's got a nice little payload, it's like a, like a well-trained, well-fitted boxer. And then, <laughs> the hind is like a boat that you gave rotors. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's literally just a boat. Same goes for Huey versus School Bus. The running theme here is American equals agile because they're so damn fast, and Russian equals ruthless because the payload they can carry and unleash really makes you feel like you're flying a tank. This shit flies like a garbage bag in the wind. It's just like... <laughs> Yeah, no, you this dude's slow understand. as fuck. It's like that kid who got blown across the country in that fucking bouncy castle or whatever it was. <laughs> My buddies and I started out by running Hydras and flying as much as possible to get the hang of things, which for some of us happened rather quickly. The whole Wait, I gotta man. balance my position versus the target's <laughs> position kind of has me goofed, but I how do <laughs> the There, I got one. That like wasn't so bad. And for others, happened not so quickly. <laughs> Oh, shit, he can't. He can't only hope. And he looks like he's actively reading the user manual. Just dump him, just dump him. <laughs> I'm looking through the manual, but all I see is fuses. Oh my god. <laughs> Down he goes. Down he goes. Rip the homie. Is that the eject button? Self-destruct initiated. Oh shit! This is a McDonald's menu! <laughs> <laughs> now because all the helicopters are tier 5 or tier 6 vehicles, it not only meant that we had press accounts with goofy names to access them. Dang. Oh, Badger's boy? Alright. That's what this account name is. Really? Yep. Oh my oh, god! Shit. How do you do, fellow content creator? <laughs> 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 it feels good being an influencer. <laughs> But it also meant that we were playing against tier 5 and tier 6 players, which, to put it bluntly, in honor of adding a Huey to the game, are natural born killers. If you're not wearing a flight suit with an oxygen tank and actively doing breathing exercises in your chair while squeezing your thighs and abdominals, you're not tactical enough. Like these guys, these guys. Do not fuck around. So we decided that since using machine guns and rockets on choppers is basically a suicide mission, we would stick the tanks on spawn and always go for the guided missiles once we had enough points. And because we had to use the US or the Soviets at this highest tier of play, it was all about the T-80 slash T-64 and the Abrams. Or, I'm sorry, Mafrebrums. He protect, he attack. But most importantly, he has blowout ammo, right? <laughs> my medicinal M1A1 Abrams. <laughs> my legally obtained M M1 Abrams. It was prescribed to me. You have a concealed yeah. carry permit for a Huey. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the whole Cobra versus Hind dynamic, T-80 versus Abrams is more of the same. Like, Americans have nuances in their tactics. Bro, time to get this Medal of Honor. Call the artillery right on top of him. <laughs> like, that's actually a useful strategy that isn't just gonna blow up you and you alone. God damn it, I think it did. We hey! Did it. <laughs> wow. Soviets have nuances in their tactics. We keep throwing enough people at the bullets, eventually, they'll run out of bullets. <laughs> 
That's such a bad way to think about it. <laughs> That's such but a it's Russian so phrase, fucking though. true, dude. <laughs> just people. throw, just keep throwing bodies at them, and if we eventually throw they'll fucking the bullets, die. They'll eventually run out of bullets. <laughs> but in the end, they occupy the same role for the same goal. Terminate anything on the ground that isn't friendly and maybe a chopper or two. Though, if I'm being honest, my squad had quite the Abrams preference, and that's probably just a matter of birthplace. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> that's like the sound that you make when you're forced to be... You're forced to use a T-80B instead of an Abrams. It goes against Grouse's very genetics. <laughs> Especially when you just cut off your mic. Just <laughs> when you ask me to be a communist. I mean, we tried out all kinds of other vehicles before the T-80 and the Abrams. You're damn right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it the best that you see, though, Heavenly? Look at the two dudes that are just sitting on the bench. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> They just they vaporize. Just, like, you don't like have enough fires. money for armor to protect both of your gunners, so you just have two backup gunners sitting on a bench <laughs> waiting for them to die. <laughs> but it rapidly became obvious that driving trucks into battle was not it. Literally, a stray 762 punched through my radiator, punched through my co-driver, <laughs> and then took out my fucking gunner. <laughs> like... <laughs> like, it came out of nowhere. The dude it's that like fired it was rotating his tank turret the opposite direction of where I was. Once we stuck with the top tier tanks, it was a natural progression in development. Like, you learn how to consistently win in shorter distance engagements. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see him, I see him, I see him. Boom, baby, got him. Pretty soon you can demolish somebody halfway across the map. And Kobe fades back. He nails it! There you go! After playing it all week, there were instances where I almost did too well. Like, I would terminate so many baddies on the ground that I wouldn't have enough time or targets to engage in helicopters. I believe in you. You got this, Chief. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit him, hit him. I got him! I got him! Oh my god, I actually hit him! I did not right think there. I was gonna do that. Bullseye! That just happened. <laughs> Is that an enemy to your left? Yeah, that's an enemy. Oh, sorry, I had the- I had the guided. Whoops. <laughs> I gotta- I gotta switch, I gotta switch. I'm mean, gonna hit his ammo cache, you ready? And ba-boom, baby, got him. Two guys. Yeet! There's so actually exposed one. dudes right there. Oh, no, this guy's just gonna tear me in half. Hopefully he misses, hopefully he misses, hopefully he misses. I got him, I got him, I got him. All right, all right. <laughs> no way, oh. Can he- can he actually damage me? A little bit. I gotta go for the dudes. I gotta go for the dudes. Okay, we got the dudes. I think he can- Oh shit, Shoot I think I'm in the spawn. I gotta get out of here. Alright, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him. Okay, we got him. That's a triple kill, baby. That's a triple Dude, kill, baby. Alright, time for it's chopper time. I'm going hind. I'm going hind. Dude, the whole team's in their spawn right now. Hostile team has lost all of its vehicles, of course. Just when I get my <laughs> chopper. Of course. Mission accomplished. There I wanted you go. to kill people. <laughs> I should have just died earlier. I wanted to shoot earlier. someone from home base. Kill me. Kill me. It was a whole different ball game once I could consistently gain shoppers with missiles, and my basic rule of thumb was always buy the best you can. If you did really well on the ground and can afford a hind or a cobra, don't bother with a Huey or a school bus because the attack choppers carry way more missiles, are way faster, and trump them in nearly every way. Does this hind even see me? Oh yeah, he does. He does. He does. <laughs> Yeah. No, never mind. Oh, I'm dead now. Oh, I got good hits on him. I got good. Yes, enemy kill assist. We got, him. we got him. We got him. Don't let me down, Hind. Don't let me down, Hind. My hands are shaking. Oh, still got him. But if you barely did anything on the ground and can only afford missiles on one of the transport choppers, you can still be a nightmare for the enemy team, even if you're flying a Russian school bus that looks like it was designed by Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, yeah it, it's like the Ru it's like the Russian school bus, and it's not even a good school bus. It's like a shitty school bus that you just put a bunch of ATGs on. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron was a domestic terrorist, but y'all not, not ready, ready to have, have that, that conversation. conversation. Come on! Down one shot. Easy. I really shouldn't be alive this close. I don't know how I'm still alive. There's number two. Oh, I've been discovered. I've been spotted. I've been spotted. This is gonna be wobbly. Still got him. Please let this oh. be a normal field trip. With the Fritz? With Miss Frizzle? 
unfucking likely. <laughs> <laughs> See, with panic, with the freeze. Oh shit! <laughs> Rule of thumb for the Huey versus school bus is that the Huey flies like a dream and allows you to tell stories about being back in Nam. Yeah. Don't crash it. Tell them yeah. right behind. Woo! <laughs> you ever killed a death claw with a tire iron? Let me tell you something about Nam. <laughs> and the school bus flies like a school bus. Getting this Russian like school bus to generally. hover is the hardest thing in the world. It's like I suddenly just get epilepsy. Hover. Hover. Why why are you spamming this like you're playing Tekken? Just ease up on the throttle, guy. Oh, these Russian pilots. Please. All right, I, I don't think hovering's an option, my guy. I just rock around like I'm in a boat. But please don't think that the missiles and the helicopters make them OP, because they are extremely fragile. So if somebody spawns a jet, you're toast. Yeah, so I yeah, I have enough for a tow. I have enough for a tow. I'm gonna bring in the tow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that jet just came around and just destroyed me. Yeah, you got shit can, big man. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Hopefully I don't hit the blades on the way out. Uh, I think I did. Hey, I'm really glad I got the toe. <laughs> Not every time, because you can occasionally capitalize on their mistakes. There's a jet below you, by the way. Yeah, I'm trying to hit it. Oh, I got a critical hit on him. He's gonna go down. Pork is pulling. I up. hit him again. I hit him again. Wait, go why, down, is my, why is boys? Go down, boys. Why is my plane going down? No, he's going down. I'm gonna get him here. Come on. Go down. Go down. Go down, right, you fat go. man! Hold on, I gotta really pull up here to not die. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, we did it, we did it. But most of the time, just like the Abrams and anti-air dumping rounds at you from the ground, they're gonna tear you in half like a movie ticket. You're basically just driving a ground A-10. Yes, a ground A-10 is a good way to label it. Instead of a warthog, it's a groundhog, get it? Ooh, Ooh. that's actually that's actually a good Classy. one. Wow. <laughs> Compression, all the oh, the see that, see that. You I got hit by like a single blasted. 762, and now all of my rotors are gone. Hold on, how the fuck? I can I'm salvage to... this. I can still fight. Oh no, my armament's gone too. I'm I still got a cannon. Many... Well, I can't find any. I of you. still got oh a my cannon. God, you don't have a fucking hind rotor. <laughs> a final item to note is that they have announced that more nations will be receiving helicopters beyond the U.S. and Russia. I'm still extremely bad at flying the Deutschland Dorito. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, shit. bees. Oh god. <laughs> we collide with each other. <laughs> Dorito down, fellas. Dorito down. This is not gonna end well. I still don't understand why all Russian tanks have logs on the back of them. I is, think it's this, just supposed to is this a Russian spoiler? I feel it, like this is a Russian it's, spoiler. It's either a Rusky spoiler, or that's like a bench for unit transport. The metal, so the metal mountings make this look Definitely like a spoiler. And I still feel like they should give you a small when you bail out of a helicopter. Siege of Shanghai style. You're yes. jumping out of a transport helicopter, you immediately small. Your back blast kills your entire crew. <laughs> <laughs> but you hit the F-80, so it doesn't matter. And that's about it. So I would like to thank you very much for watching. One final thank you to Gaijin for sponsoring this video. So don't forget, you can play the game below me for free via that link. And be sure to tune in next time when I beg them on my hands and knees to add an A-10 and Warthog.